Book Tower Guard friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for another Orc Mode workout. Today was Max Effort Bench Press Day, and today was hard. And I know that the Max today looks good, it looked easy, and it wasn't that bad, but the training today was tough. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch and enjoy these videos, please click like down below. Help me keep those likes higher than the dislikes. And we got 345 on a close grip. I'm pretty happy with the lift because it wasn't very grindy. A little grindy near the lockout. Okay. A little grindy near the lockout. But when I grabbed the 315, actually when I grabbed the 275, I knew I'd, I'd, I'd hit that today. But I think I can do it. Especially the 315, I'm like, yep, yep, let's do a 30-pound jump and let's, let's just knock it down. Let's do it. Uh, I've hit a little more right before my injury, obviously, with the buffalo bar, but I haven't actually hit 345 on a straight bar since I've been on YouTube. I haven't done that since I was much, 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 much younger. So we've been coming back up at benching and pressing strength has been coming back up and getting it dialed in. So uh, I guess we count that as a PR, right? Because this would be with, with a bar that would be used in comp. This is a standard power bar. It's actually a rogue power bar. So calibrated plates. All right, passing any fed. I paused, head stayed down. I actually kept my head on the bench for this, which I started doing again recently. Feet flat, head stayed on the bench, butt stayed on the bench. Maybe it's close grip, but I, I'm probably gonna do all my, my big pressing close grip. I've realized I'm just better at it. Let's just stick with it. Build all my weak links around it, you know? So I'm, I'm happy with the lift though. Paused, drove up sticks a little bit right there which is a little bit of doubt then a little bit of tricep okay. got it all good now I realized after that it's like that was a good solid press I'm not going to mess my day up going and messing with another press today I was going to do some incline but I'm like you know my chest is and delts, really, I felt my delts quite a bit after that. It's like, mm, let's not tempt fate. Let's just get right into training. We did a good max for the day. Let's just stop with the singles. So I did 295 for a 3x3. Three three. Um, these were tough. And I, and I realized doing them, it's like, oh, yeah. Even though that, that max looked nice and clean, looked pretty, mm, took a fair amount out of me. These were hard. Now, they should be hard based on the percentage. I mean, if 345 is the max to do after a max to do 295, it's just a hair over 85%. It's like two pounds over 85%, right? 85 and a half percent. And I just rounded it up there. And I said, I didn't want to mess with microblades today. Like, let me just fill those tents on. A lot of times I'll do the microplates, but they, they were, I felt them today. It's like, I did these and I'm like, these were hard. And they look, they don't look that hard. Like you're watching, like, well, you're not really grinding and form's not breaking down. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm not pressing with everything I have. Uh, I didn't feel like I had another good rep on any of these. Had I tried a fourth rep on any of these, particularly I think the last set, it would have been grindy as hell. Right, it would have been, it would be ugly. Like these look decent enough, right? So you're like, well, you're pausing, you get a triple. They look clean. And this is the first time I've looked at the footage, actually. As I'm doing this voiceover, I'm watching the footage on those for the first time. And I kind of threw the other stuff in and spliced it down a little bit afterwards, but I haven't watched these. They look clean, man. They felt heavy. But, again, the percentages we're working at and, and the effective reps, we know that we're getting a training response from this. I mean, realistically, if we were to go look at bare minimum effective volume, I would possibly make a small, tiny amount of gains off this workout. Just all this close grip pressing. We got the max. And we did a 3x3 three three that were all inside the effective rep zone. All those reps were. Everything. Okay. What does that mean? So we got 11 effective reps total. We count the ramp ups. 
went to do dips and man did I feel these uh, and that's when I realized my chest was probably done for the day I'm like let me do one try to get three and I'm not counting like that first rep on that like that little short stroke rep that's just to get in my groove because I feel like if I try to lower on the first rep I end up messing it up so I tried to do you know three more with this with 110 and I got them and then I'm like let me go ahead and take a set all the way up because I'm only going to do a couple sets of most of these supplemental lifts has been my thought uh, especially with the pressing because I'm doing so much variation of pressing and I do this one and I got like I think five more reps after my first one it was something like that but my pecs and my triceps to some extent like at least the lateral head of my triceps my pecs were cramping really hard like this set after doing that other heavy pressing it was everything that my chest had like my chest was done like I, I like I can't do any incline I'm gonna have a bunch of non-effective reps and people will say well if your strength is down because you did other work first it, it still hits the no it doesn't hit the upper threshold fibers not in the same muscles it might in the delts and everything but it won't in the pecs okay because that's not how it works that's why rest pause and a lot of this stuff hasn't done well so I'm like, I, I can't incline today. And I think what I'm going to do on the next phase, I'm like, I don't necessarily need the dips. I do need the, the extra tricep. I might have to do a little tricep work. I might need to throw in a J-on press or two. I really need to hammer that incline and the, the standing press. Okay? I really need to get the incline up. I know that will bridge the gap. I will focus on my closed grip pressing. I might need to do some chains if it's more triceps because the triceps do seem to be a little bit of a factor there still because I explode out of the bottom. Um, I really need to push the incline up and this I need to get my overhead press back and I think with where my pressing strength has gotten on the close grip if I can get that incline to 300 and I get my strict press back to 225 and keep in mind there'll be a synergy there the overhead will increase the incline and vice versa It'll be good and people forget I have been reasonably strong at the incline in the past I just haven't done it in years Someone else tried to make a big deal, or oh, you were repping whatever 225 or work sets on the incline to 45 years ago. Like that was five years ago. And I wasn't flat benching back then, I was just messing with incline. Okay. And people have to understand the difference. I was using that as my main press for a little while, for a few months, and it went up pretty quick. And well, I think we can do that here, but it's going to be treated as the next lift, and we'll max on it and everything. But I'm like, so I managed to do three sets of standing press, and I went up a bit. Um, I have 145 on there. You can't see the nickels on the side, but they're there. If you notice, they're gone from the top the little rack up there, top left where they're normally at. You can barely see them. But I put those on, and I grabbed two sets of five. And I had to kind of get it balanced. The first set, it was a little catawampus. And again, people will point out, are you locking? That is my lockout. And it's not my elbows. People are like, is it your elbows? It won't lock. It's like, no, it's my shoulders. I can go to a really wide grip and I can lock the elbows on overhead. It's my shoulder structure. And I've tried every mobility training tool there is, and it is what it is. The closer grip I go, it's just not possible. It's one reason I got hurt on the ring pull-ups trying to go into a dead hang. It's one reason I don't go into a dead hang on these chins. My physical structure of my shoulder doesn't allow for it. Uh, and I've done every mobility that every physical therapist in the world has ever prescribed forever. None of it helps. It doesn't do anything. But happy with that overhead press at least. So we got three good sets because my chest was shot, but I'm like, my shoulders aren't. And it works the tricep differently than the other pressing. Okay. You want a good synergy for triceps, dips and overhead press. There you go. You think about the heads involved, very different. And the chins will carry over to my overhead press. If you think about all the way the movement patterns work in the opposing muscle groups and the fact that it works along head of the tricep and the upper chest are used on the, the overhead press, okay, this will help. But uh, we went up on this today. I did 90. It's, if you notice, it's a pair of the calibrated plates. If you see it when it stops for a second, you realize there's a split there. There's two plates. There they are. Three by three. Um, they were hard, though. I don't feel like I, I couldn't have got a fourth rep on any of these. And I don't care that sometimes some clouds will come in and they're like, well, oh, your range of, I don't care. I'm not going to damage my shoulder so that you count my reps. I don't care. 
It's making my back more jacked and it's making my biceps grow. Hang pulls. I bumped the weight today and these ended up being eh, not so good on camera. I might need to reduce the weight slightly. But do they still work the muscles I want? Yes. Did my traps, upper back, shoulders get hammered? Yes. Yep. Rear delts. Traps, all of that got worked. And that's what we care about. Arguably, probably went a hair too heavy on these. I need to reduce it back down. First time trying this weight, even for triples, mm, a bit too much. I'll, I'll admit that. No need to dispute it. I'm not going to argue about it. I still got the desired training response. It's just that I would stand to do better on these to reduce the weight of hair. Get a little more power. Get them just a hair higher up. It would behoove me to do so. Okay? And of course, you know, people want to talk smack, and that's fine. I don't care. I don't care that you don't like them. I didn't like them either. But what am I going to do? Not upload the footage and say, well, that lift didn't work very good today. I'm just going to not upload it. No, we upload the workout. Do it year round. Good and bad. So, you know, but I, I don't care on that. I still got the desired training response. I'll, I'll keep in mind I need to reduce that weight of hair and build it back up. A little too aggressive with the weight. Then cheat curls. And these, well, I don't care either. They're called cheat curls for a reason. Cheat curls are a phenomenal exercise. There's good scientific literature on the cheat curl. We know what it does. The way I'm doing it serves its intended purpose. And are my chin-ups not getting stronger? My biceps grown a little bit? I think they both have. We're creating a synergy. We're taking a multi-joint bicep dominant movement that also works the upper back. I need upper back, upper back like crazy. I need to really hammer my upper back. So I might as well do it with my biceps and everything else. Okay. So that's what we did. We managed to get six, six, and then seven, I think. So we got seven reps on the last set without having to increase the weight again. Like I said, I might keep it just this weight and try to get the best I can. We'll, we'll, we'll ramp it on the back side of the chins. The chins will be the real progressive overload, and this is coming back and hammering with another movement. And I'll add weight over time, but man, I'm, the seventh rep is hard. If I add weight, I don't know if I can get my target reps. Maybe we might add five pounds. But I'm happy with them. Gives me the desired training response. I'm getting stronger on the lifts I need to get stronger on, so everything's flowing. So we'll keep doing it. So I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.